avoid moving to Las Vegas. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Damien, Angela's sidekick. And today we're gonna to talk about the five things that you will hate about living in Las Vegas. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Las Vegas is often celebrated for its vibrant nightlife, world-class entertainment, and year-round sunny weather. But like any city, it has its downsides that can make it less appealing for some potential residents. Before you pack your bags and head to Sin City, let's take a look at the five things that you will hate about living in Las Vegas. Mm. Number one, the scorching summers. And one of the most notorious aspects of living in Las Vegas is the extreme summer heat. From June to August, temperatures can regularly soar above 100 degrees. While some people enjoy the dry heat, others find it unbearable. If you're not a fan of scorching summers, you might want to think twice about moving here. <laughs> yeah. Number two, lack of greenery. Las Vegas is situated in the heart of the Mojave Desert, which means that lush greenery and vegetation are in short supply. The arid desert landscape might leave nature lovers feeling a bit out of place. If you're used to living in a lush green environment, adjusting to the desert may be a challenge. Mm -hmm. Number three, limited public transportation. Las Vegas is a sprawling city and its public transportation system is not as extensive as what you might find in larger metropolitan areas. While there are buses and a monorail system on the strip, many residents rely on personal vehicles to get around. If you prefer a city with a comprehensive public transit system, Las Vegas might disappoint you. Yeah, I mean, we do have a good bus system, but you know, you're gonna be taking a long time to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And number four, tourist crowds. The Las Vegas Strip is undoubtedly one of the world's most famous tourist destinations. While this brings excitement and entertainment, it also means dealing with large crowds of tourists, especially on weekends and holidays. If you're not a fan of bustling tourist areas, living near the Strip may not be ideal for you. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, limited job opportunities outside of tourism. Las Vegas has a thriving tourism industry, but job opportunities in other sectors can be limited. If your career field is not directly related to hospitality, gaming, or entertainment, finding suitable employment might be challenging. It's essential to consider your job prospects before making your move. In conclusion, while Las Vegas has a lot to offer, it's not a one-size-fits-all city. The scorching summers, lack of greenery, limited public transportation, tourist crowds, and job market can be potential downsides for some residents. Before deciding to move to Las Vegas, carefully evaluate whether these aspects align with your preferences and lifestyle. While many people love living in Las Vegas, it's essential to be aware of the potential challenges to make an informed decision about your future home. Mm -hmm. Now, we have been lifelong residents. I've been here for over 30 years. You've been here for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so even though there are cons to living in Las Vegas, there are also a lot of pros and every city has their cons. Obviously, we just wanted to go over if these are not for you, why you need to avoid moving to Las Vegas. Right. And five reasons why you hate living here. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you are thinking about buying a home here in Las Vegas, you can always call me at 702. 3705112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. Most importantly, help me out here. Hit that like button, but subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, folks, because I like talking a lot about Las Vegas and not just about Las Vegas neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you on the next one.